Um, so I got a text from a mate yesterday saying that the McGregor Mayweather press conference is coming to London and I didn't know that. I don't have a ticket, but I'm going to get in today. Oh, and we're off to a cracker of a start here. Uh, this bloke, this bloke um, is Floyd Mayweather's driver. Shout out to you. Um, he, uh, he posted this photo of all their passes. So we've got the promoter pass um, and we've got the guest pass, which is yellow. So I'm going to make both of them because it's not that much different, just the colour. Um, but I reckon I'm going to use the promoter one because when you're rolling with the big dogs, I want to be able to get in anywhere. So promoter. I can't find that exact photo anywhere. That one, which is like cropped off below there, is the only one I could find. And then I found this, like, this poster, which is like, got all this shit in the way, so I'm currently getting all that out. Working a bit of Photoshop bodge. I could replace his eye with a nipple. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's happening, that's staying. Nipple eye Floyd is staying. Oh, you can't then. I'm just recording an album when I do tracks, I like a card out. Follow the words of a wise man. When I work with artists and shout them, don't want a word, then I ain't gonna have them. That's my three hit points. I found some obstacles when I rise, get round them. That's why I made two albums, because I got two fans. Also, definitely taking me a little four pound earpiece. That'll do. VIP, glitter bomb. Not sure what that's from. Glitter bomb, VIP, earpiece. Got two passes. It's mad. Let's go. Strictly Primark. So I get to London, park up, walk around the outside of the building, just scope it out. And I see this bloke from one of the other press conferences, part of Mayweather's crew. And he's like with eight other people, so... So I'll push up behind this seven foot eight geezer, whose arms are like the size of my legs. Literally just push up behind him, and just roll straight through security behind him. Nice one, boss. So once I'm through, as far as anyone else is concerned, I'm part of the crew. So I'm latching on like a little weirdo at the back, just like following them around. And I know they're definitely like, they're gonna get back somewhere. So yeah, all was going well until this bloke says. So I bailed from that, because I'm stood next to like 10 other people with actual real ones. Next thing you know, Oi oi, Mr. Dana White comes out. Hello. So, ten minutes later, I'm just wandering about and find this, like, little office place. I thought no one was in there until this woman comes out. She points me in the direction of this next door, which is literally just down the corridor from it. And I was like, yeah, sorted. So, yeah, I walk through this door, somehow it's open. And I'm like, yes, sorted, home and clear. That looks like it's going backstage. Get all the way through with my yellow pass. Happy as Larry, look at me. Um, get to this next door and... So I just went down this entrance. The guy, very nice spirit guy, just said, only you pronounce pass the loud. Or I have that in my pocket, so... <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm not street, but the streets, I'm a little in that. Never smoke weed, I just sip so lean Got my bitch in the back Japanese, I'm Gucci Lips so sushi, it's criminal Whisper my name like a prayer to a god You were never quite sure you believed him Twisted restraints, they gifted Crave you're late, they missed it So at this point, I'm ringside, VIP Everyone thinks I'm meant to be there So there's a few things that I want to tick off the list First one is a photo Photo ringside, clench the fist Boom, photo done Number two, chat to some of the Irish. You can hear them chanting, screaming, loving life. I want to know what these passionate folk think about Mayweather. Yeah, yeah, please, hang on. Tell me when to start, yeah? No. Uh, no. Yeah. Hard walk! Fuck the Mayweather! Hard walk! Fuck the Mayweather! Come on, gotta take his head, lead off, into his two down. Mark Roy Wood, and Mayweather's a bitch, Doug. Mayweather's a bitch, Roy Tino's a bitch. Not all bitches, not all done in London. So after that little insight, I want to do my new Irish mates proud. I want to walk out there with McGregor. 
Now this wasn't going to be easy. I duck one, duck two, and follow two of Floyd Mayweather's cameramen down the corridor. Now this wasn't going to be easy. Oh shit, there's Dana White again. Hello mate. <clears throat> no, anyway, I could get jumped at any point for being on the other team. But I prevailed. I see the game plan. Putting a load of henchmen either side of the corridor trying to intimidate me. But it wasn't working. And with the words of my Irish brothers ringing in my ears, I kept going. I kept pushing. I kept believing. And I made it backstage. All the countless hours I've put in, copying, pasting, cutting out bits of paper, buying a new laminator from Tesco's, all led to this moment. I'm thinking about becoming Irish. Dual citizenship, is that impossible? I had made it, and there I was, stood next to my cauliflower-eared hero, my little Irish pocket of gold. And I was gonna walk out with him and fulfill my dream. The commentator called Connor the former UFC featherweight and it annoyed him and it annoyed me too. I was now part of this crew. Holy shit, I did it. I actually fucking did it. And the cries of my Irish brothers ringing in my ears. I walked down to ringside to witness history. need to talk over this bit because of copyright. Good song though. Um, yeah, so I make it down to ringside. I'm there with all the press, literally the world's media and me posting on a YouTube channel. Um, decide to take it all in. Atmosphere, going off. Go for a little walk around the side and I see more of me Irish brothers and sisters with all these 20 pound notes ripped on the floor underneath them. They've been throwing money down. How mad is that? So next I move a bit closer to ringside and I'm stood next to this middle-aged bloke who is so funny. Literally, how often do you get the opportunity to swear at Floyd Mayweather in real life? And he was so close that he was just letting go. Shut up, Floyd! Fuck the Mayweathers! 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 I don't really have a clue what was happening at this point, I didn't really care. Um, I ended up seeing Mayweather leave and then pull out in his Rolls Royce. But then as if by magic, Boom! Changing room. <laughs> <laughs>
astronomical. I mean, the crowds that show up to support me get is unbelievable, and I'm just grateful. And um, so now I consider myself part of the part of the crew. I decided to go to the actual press conference after as well. So this was it, ladies and gentlemen. This was the moment where I'd finally get to fill the fourth thing that I wanted to do. Ask Connor whether I prefer to fight 20 duck-sized Mayweathers or one Mayweather-sized duck. Now I can confirm for you today that Conor McGregor, the reigning UFC lightweight champion of the world, the most anticipated fighter on the planet, didn't answer the question. Because I didn't ask him the question, I bitched out, shit. I flopped on the fourth. Ah oh well, it was alright, it's still good anyway. Anyway Conor, if you watch this, Feel free to get back and answer the question. Or fly me out to Vegas for the flight, I don't mind. You don't have to get me a ticket, I'll try and get in. Um, yeah, cheers for watching. Nice one. Uh, give me a minute when I'm in it, I will never leave life of a grand out of five, so I never dream. Straight working, I'm certain that a day will come when I open the curtain. See me whipping in the escalade. Told you already, nigga, I've got it, mate. Spit it together, don't wanna do it any other way. You know that my brother's gonna be next to me.